Our top story of the week. Daniel Bryan was MIA on Raw, selling the injuries from his beatdown last week at the hands of the authority. Meanwhile, Triple H took part in a sit-down interview with Michael Cole, stating that Daniel Bryan, along with the crowd, forced Triple H to become a competitor once again. Due to that fact, he got exactly what he deserved last week. He also went further to call the audience soft and pathetic for vilifying him and that he would walk out of WrestleMania the WWE World Heavyweight Champion because, and I quote, the reality is I have the power to make it happen and they all know it's true. When I heard him say that, my jaw dropped. But I want to know what were your reactions to this promo as a whole? Triple H continues to be the most interesting character heading into this whole scene involving Daniel Bryan, Triple H, and two other guys that need not be named. And this this promo was was really interesting. Uh, I don't know about the whole reality era thing. I think that kind of branding it that way was kind of weird for me. But what he was saying in it, how he was basically alluding to some of the the internet perceptions about him and, and throwing it back in the fans' faces. And it, was just, it just came off brilliantly. He continues to do excellent heel work, as he has done for his entire career. And spoiler alert, nothing else fucking happened on the show. So there you go. I hate Triple H. And that is a damn good thing right now. He is doing awesome stuff. I legitimately don't like the guy. He loves to troll the internet, and he's actually working it in nicely to this feud. I'm enjoying being trolled because I just love having a heel that I can legitimately despise. I really don't like him. The promo was great. Danny Bryan was exactly where Danny Bryan should be, and that was sitting not in the arena somewhere. I love the fact he wasn't on TV. Sell those injuries. Sell that beat down. Great stuff. And the promo came off really nicely. I even thought towards the end of it, Michael Cole did good things, being kind of intimidated. I was kind of wondering, like, are they going to attack Cole? But no, they, they, they like the guy in commentary too much to do something as awesome as that. But the promo was great. Daniel Bryan selling his injuries was great. I didn't think they'd actually do something like that, considering they I think they know people want to see him and they like to have him on the show. But Great job there. Great job all around. And I'm actually thoroughly enjoying the build up to this match at WrestleMania. Yeah, this was one of the uh, highlights. Of, well, I can't say highlights. So that's plural. This was the highlight of, tonight, uh, <laughs> of this past <laughs> this past week's Raw, man. Triple H is on a roll. He seems like the only guy that actually realizes that it's WrestleMania season. His promos have been top notch. I cannot remember a bad performance from him during this season, man. Great promo. He got everything across. I'm not sure what to think of this whole reality era thing. Maybe it was just a one-time thing. I know that was a term used by internet fans. So it's good to see that he actually notices that the internet exists. And I actually i am going to piggyback off of what Charlie said. I'm glad that he's trolling the internet. That's a, Well, it's not the biggest market, but it is a pretty decent-sized uh, portion of the audience. So I'm glad to see that he's trying to uh, get some heat off of them. He's making me legitimately despise him. He's done some very despicable things. There was no remorse after he basically nearly ruined Daniel Bryan's career. I'm not sure about Daniel Bryan not being on TV. I would have liked at least to see some type of uh, satellite feed or something going on, especially since there's only one more episode left until WrestleMania. But it is what it is. Uh, This feud has been probably the best a uh, few that I've seen so far on the road to WrestleMania. Great stuff. I love how during the interview, he provided that contrast between Triple H, the corporate executive, and Triple H, the competitor, because when the crowd was begging for Triple H to have a match with Daniel Bryan, they forced the competitor out of him, and he said it was their fault that Daniel Bryan got his ass beat last week. It's great how he was able to mold their actions to fit his agenda, so... That was all great along with everything that he was talking about with the reality era stuff. On the show last week, I said that Triple H has this amazing ability to assess the gravity of a situation and he did exactly that once again this week by delving deeper into this new persona that he's developed. And speaking of that persona, I've seen various quote unquote reports on dirt sheets and folks co-signing this belief that Triple H lets the internet get to him. He's obsessed with the internet and I'm going to go ahead and call that out as bullshit because while it's clear as day that he's aware of the perception of him that exists, it's also clear that he has absolutely no fucks to give on the matter. It's not as if WWE is blatantly breaking the fourth wall, excuse me, but 
what they are doing is embracing rogue elements of the fan population and working it into storylines like with the cookie puts chance on the raw in chicago and then the hijack raw hashtag that was something that was started organically by people that were intent on disrupting the process, but WWE co-opted the movement and worked it into storylines for their benefit. And they're pretty much doing that exact same thing with Triple H taking ownership of the negative perception of him and letting it feed some amazing heel work. He went from literally saying he was going to bury Daniel Bryan to saying comments like, I have the power to make it happen, which basically means I'm the head of creative. And not only that, I'm married to a McMahon. I get what the fuck I want. And it doesn't do anything to change their beliefs, but it does make their rage against the machine part of the machine itself. And if I must say so, that's a fucking genius move. And I honestly like the fact that Daniel Bryan was absent from the show because one thing that I can't stand about today, I don't know if it happened this frequently in the past, but maybe I wasn't paying attention, but I know today we get people who are in Hell in a Cell matches and matches that are supposed to be brutal and then they show up on Monday Night Raw the next night and they're wrestling in matches and shit like that. It's like, okay, so I, I hate the fact that WWE feels that they need to move so fast in situations like that. Like take a little bit of time, slow it down, actually tell the story because the fact that Danny Bryan wasn't on Monday Night Raw, it definitely was a risk, but it played into the story of how vicious the beatdown was. But we don't have time for that, Jay. We've had guys that have gotten their asses beat before and have at least come on the next episode of Raw and talked about how bad it was. They've been in cast or some shit. It, we we didn't, haven't had a lot of instances where people have gotten their ass beat and just didn't show up the next episode. We only have two more. We have one more episode now left of WrestleMania to try to build this card and push it as something as entertaining. Well, here's why I don't say that was the case here because if i felt as if i was being denied something like if i felt that daniel bryan needed to be on this show or whatever we got with daniel bryan not on monday night raw it fucking sucked then i would be like oh yeah they needed to have his ass on monday night raw because we only have two episodes of raw left and they need to build up this match but the match was being built with triple h he said everything that I could have ever asked for on Monday Night Raw, and he sold the hell out of the match with Danny Bryan there or not. Yeah, Danny Bryan can only sell what he's a part of. He can't sell the rest of the card for everybody else. So him being there really would have done nothing for the feud. It might have even devalued the beat down a little bit. It wouldn't have made that sit-down promo. He would have had to come out, and he would have had all types of issues. So I think that thoroughly sold that match, which is all you can really ask from the people involved to sell their own shit. Yeah, if we're getting to a point where we're asking Danny Bryan to save the whole fucking ship, maybe that's too grand of a task to ask, even for somebody as talented as Danny Bryan, because he didn't have shit to do with the rest of the bullshit that was going on on Monday Night Raw. Like David said, the one highlight of the show, everything else is what we had a problem with. And Danny Bryan didn't have anything to do with that. Unless, I mean, hey, Danny Bryan beats Triple H, then I guess he'll challenge for the streak at WrestleMania 2. Shit, why not? Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Something needs to save that, but we'll get there.